Right, so regarding the Lucid Dreaming app that I've created, it's called How to Lucid, you can find it on the iPhone App Store. Um, there's been a few comments and feedback about this app already, so I want to just address some of these. Um, for, firstly, thank you very much for your, all your positive comments and reviews. I've not actually had hardly any negative comments at all about this app. The only thing that people are sort of criticising about it is what I'm going to talk about now. So, the app has the reality check reminder function. That is the main point of the app. Now, I have neglected to... I've made a bit of a mistake. So I've made the, the reality checks pop up sort of every hour, every two hours, three hours, or randomly. The problem with randomly, and indeed with the like hourly ones, is that there's no setting to turn it off when you go to sleep. So as a few people have been saying, they've been using it in the daytime, but then it, as you go to sleep, it's still been going off and it's been interrupting their sleep and waking them up and annoying them in, in some way. So there's a few a few things I want to say about that. Firstly, yes, that is an honest mistake. I should have included like a, a sleep time or a way you can turn the reality checks off. Um, firstly, you could either turn the notifications off when you go to bed every time, okay? Or you could set your phone, if you have an iPhone, obviously you do have an iPhone if you've got the app, you could set your do not disturb mode and set the hours from, from say 10 at night until six in the morning so that nothing will disturb you or notify you during those hours. That's what I do. And that's the reason I didn't notice the problem myself is because that setting stops it notifying you when you're asleep. The other thing you could do, which I also recommend doing anyway, is to put your phone onto silent mode face down every time you go to sleep. In fact, I don't even suggest sleeping with your phone near you. Um, I would suggest leaving your phone in either another room or way across the room where you can't reach it face down because your phone is one of the biggest interrupters of your sleep and it's not very good to have it so close to you all the time. But that being said, I will try and include an update for the app which addresses that problem, with it, you know, fixes the problem of it, notifications happening during the night and things like that. There is also an issue with the scrolling. Um, so if you've entered a long dream journal entry, like some of you have, you'll notice that when you then go back to review it, you can't easily scroll down unless you press the edit button in which case you then can scroll down. Um, so these problems are being addressed. I'm gonna be working on them for a new update. I don't know when the update will be coming out. Uh, I've got a few things to figure out before then. But ultimately, you know, the bigger picture of this is, I think it's been a fairly big success, so far anyway. Um, let me know if I'm wrong. Like, I'd, lo I'd love you to leave a comment letting me know what you think about it. And like, has it actually helped you? Do the reality check reminders work in that way? Um, do you use it as your dream journal or is it just like another thing that you've downloaded that you think is kind of cool but it's missing something? And if it is missing something, please let me know what that is um, because I obviously really want to make it better. I want to improve it. Um, it's my first ever app that I've made um, so there's obviously going to be a few problems with it, a few bugs, things to iron out but I think ultimately it's been okay. I mean I certainly use it myself, I use it for reality check reminders. Um, and things like that. The other thing I would say is that, yeah, there are lots of links in the app, um, lots of sort of tutorials as well, big blocks of text which explain various techniques. Is there anything missing from that? Um, I tried to be as comprehensive as I could, like it's got the main techniques uh, and methods, it's got a summary of like binaural beats and uh, you know how to do various uh, things, how to sleep better, how to meditate, I think it's got things like that. It's also got FAQs and acronyms. Um, and there are also links to useful things that you might want to get or, you know, try, like binaural beats or supplements or my Lucid Dreaming Bootcamp if you want a, like a step-by-step -step guide to Lucid Dreaming. These things, I've mentioned them all before, they should be in the description of most of my videos, but I felt like, you know, it would be useful to have them all in one place in the app as well. Is there anything that you think is missing from that, you know, uh, whether it's a tutorial or a section? Bear in mind the app's supposed to be really simple, it's not supposed to be really complicated, uh, because that's what my website's for, you know, if you want more detail, you should always read the website, uh, which you can read on your phone anyway. But the app is really supposed to be like a lightweight sort of thing that's just going to remind you to do reality checks, help you write your dreams down. Um, so yeah, is it missing something, do you think? Or is it okay so far and we just need to iron out those bugs? Let me know. The other thing I would say is that people have been saying... People have been saying that it would be good if there was a night mode, like a, a way you could turn it so that the brightness goes down and it's, and it's dark with white text instead of light with uh, dark text. That is something that I will consider adding, but only if you guys would actually use it. Because for the most part, you, when would you use the app when you're sleeping or you know when it's dark? You shouldn't be using it anyway. The only time that would be useful 
is if you were using it as a dream journal in the early hours of the morning before the sun has risen, in which case it would be dark and you don't want to have the bright light wake you up too much. So I do understand the need for it. Um, personally, I usually wake up when the sun rises. I don't, or, or I don't often wake up in the middle of the night unless it's a really intense dream. Um, but obviously some, some people do and that can be an issue. So I will include a, light, a night mode in the update if you guys want that. And lastly, for those of you who want this on Android, I do know what you, uh, I, I do acknowledge that. There's obviously a lot of you that want it on Android. It is coming, I promise. Um, but it's just, it's just a case of how to find the funds to go from here to there. It's going to cost me a fair amount to have it developed on Android and also the updates and the, the fees and things associated with that. Um, so although I do really appreciate you guys donating on, on Patreon, a, a couple of you have donated like a dollar a month or something on, on Patreon, sadly that isn't enough for me to then hire a developer to make it an Android version. I really do need like a bigger response from you guys in terms of uh, like a Patreon donation or something. Um, maybe like go onto my website and buy a few of my books or, or like the, buy the boot camp or something. Something that would help me then be able to get from here to there. And as soon as that happens I can, I can make it happen a lot faster. Um, and I am I am trying to save up for the de the uh, developer and everything and get it up and running sooner. But it's just there are roadblocks. There's developments. I've got to pay for the update to this app on the iPhone and stuff like that, um, as well as various other business related costs for keeping the website going and things like that. But overall, thank you guys very much for all of your comments and support with this app. If you have got it on iPhone, please leave a review on the i uh, the i store the App Store. Uh, that would be greatly appreciated and I'll see you next time. Done. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description. You'll find links to various Lucid Dreaming products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.